there's a greater London, there's a greater Mosby. This is Erai town located just outside of Port Mosby. It sits on a piece of land of 155 hectares managed by Erai Town Development Limited. A housing problem, we have been here for a while. It's acute. Uh, Papua New Guineans cannot afford to get into those houses there in the city. They're just too expensive. And we're trying to do something new. So we said, forget about the city pricing. We will build houses and see whether we can make them affordable. The company has achieved its affordable home concept through the first home ownership scheme. And most of them come in to Edai Town buying their first home. So they have been funded by the BSP First Home Ownership Scheme. That is an initiative between the national government and BSP. Uh, and this is really something fantastic for Papua New Guinea uh, because the home loan uh, that BSP offers is between 200,000 to 400,000, which means that this is the affordable range. There are different ranges of houses to choose from. This home for affordability is outfitted, so you don't have to worry to go and buy this and that and the other. You can shift in with what we say, 36,000 equity. The house is not 36,000, the house is about 360,000, fully outfitted. Uh, but you put in 36,000, which is 10%, and BSP can fund 90% of that house value and it comes with the house and land uh, and uh, a little bit of garden at the back and a little bit of uh, frontage uh, if you pay a little bit more you can get to some more land but at the entry level that's what is affordable it's anticipated by 2018 there will be 2000 units built in paces pace one with 161 homes and pace two with 146 homes uh, once and uh, that will be by the uh, sometime end of 2018 we already started building which means from the first quarter of 2018 uh, these guys who are buying the uh, phase 2 homes they will start shifting in progressively and they would should take up a possession before the next christmas with affordable homes you will enjoy the luxury and comfort of your home uh, but the employers are also helping because they have the um, employer uh, assistance whereby they help towards the equity uh, and also on the nest fund and the number one super when uh, you contribute there is a portion that you can withdraw for housing and so that all helps with the equity so the trick is to get uh, the how to get the 36,000 for Papua New Guinea or the B PNG citizens to apply for homes and if they are interested, the borrowing capacity, if they have that, they can apply through BSP. Maximum to borrow is 400,000 with a very low interest rate, that's 4%. They can apply for, we have a flexible uh, repayment amount, so they can, um, the customers or PNG citizens, those who are employed, they can come through to BSP to apply for a loan to purchase a home or either vacant land. And Edda Town takes a holistic approach under its community service obligation. Their plans to build education infrastructure and also assist surrounding villages. No gate that says uh, this you're on this side or that side. Uh, and this is becoming, uh, uh, it will very quickly become a suburb of Port Mosby. At the moment what we do is we know the people who live here, there's not many jobs around here other than the LNG project. Uh, so we shuttle them into the city in the morning to go to work and in the evenings uh, they come back and on Saturdays, uh, if they, they are people who go to work on Saturdays, we shuttle them. Uh, those who don't work, they can take that bus and go in and do their shopping and come back. With more Papua New Guineans showing interest in owning their own homes, there's also a need for more education on the country's housing benefits tax. This was a point raised during a stakeholder engagement by National Research Institute following a study into the public perception about recent changes in housing benefit tax in PNG. The final report is expected to be completed and released early next year. Views. Some people think it's a good thing to do and I think just because 
maybe they look at the housing, that some people have houses, some don't. So those who don't have probably would say tax them, tax those who have. But of course those who have it will have expressed their view that they, they're not really for it. In fact, they're asking for more concessions to be given. Paying a marginal tax rate on 150k. So the difference between Australia and here, in Australia, 1,000 kina, you would be paying, if you've got a marginal rate of 35%, you would be paying 3,000, uh, sorry, 350 kina tax. Here, for the benefit, you're paying 35 kina tax. Fabian Hakalitz, National MTV News.